you've got yourself set up for something Sure you got it all debugged Here on out it's nothing but easy riding That's the time they pull the rug Ain't that the way they say it goes Ain't that the way All you know for sure is no one knows That's all they say They'll try to make you crawl when you know you can fly But just keep smiling when you want to cry Now that's the way You've had it up to here with double dealing You're finally learning where to duck Even when everything's right you got the feeling It's just about to come unstuck Ain't that the way For dinner, Dad. Ham and lima bean casserole. Yuck. Yuck you. I know what that means. What do you do? I didn't do that. You know what he said to me? Yuck you. Dad said that? Our dad said that? Hey, you two. You know what Daddy said? Never mind. <laughs> I gotta go. No breakfast? Now I gotta pick up Chris. Look, why don't you get a babysitter and um, maybe we could take in a show later, huh? You guys, don't you give your daddy any static or I'll come home and arrest you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh's right. Truck. Are you all right? Oh, yeah. You were terrific. New York's finest. Hey, maybe couldn't you get the day off? We could um, go to Central Park. I could rent a boat, pack a lunch. Hey, maybe we could drive out to the island. I know a great lobster spot there. Connecticut. That's it, Connecticut. Have you ever been to the Stony Wood Inn? Oh! Oh. Sorry. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> hey, you know what? I never made love with a cop before. Oh. <laughs> I'll see you again, right? I'll call you.
thought you were having dinner with your father. He's in bed by 10. That was a new one. Where'd you find him? Hmm, well, uh, it's a long cab drive back from Brooklyn, you know? That can be dangerous, Chris. I'm a cop. I can take care of myself. So where's it say in the police manual you can't get a social disease? Harvey have another headache? Those are real headaches. They are. A okay, man's out of work okay. for a year and a half, and, uh, it begins to prey on his mind. I don't know. It should be getting easier. He used to be the only one on the block. Now three-quarters of the country is unemployed. He says he doesn't feel valuable. So I say, because you don't feel valuable, I'm beginning to feel not so valuable. Do you remember the reporter we met when we were guarding the mayor? He was dynamite, and he really dug you. Knock it off. It would improve your disposition. There's nothing wrong with my disposition. And stop smiling like that. Who's smiling? Who? Oh, maybe I'll give him a call, huh? <laughs> Break. Okay, come on, you. Chris, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? There's something you gotta see. Put him over here. What? I think they're cutting heroin over there. You're kidding. Looks just like the narcs tell you. Where? Show me. Right there. Four guys with guns. Do you want to make detective? You know a cop that doesn't? Chris, even if we make the bust, how are we going to get him back to the station? We'll take a cab.
go get their guns. Next week, plain clothes. You call this plain clothes? Well, to John, detail is a very important assignment. With all the crime going down, we gotta trap some horny bastards. She means it's a victimless crime. Uh, look, we're good cops. Why do you think you got promoted? Hey, look, that was a terrific color you kids made, like real policemen. We are real policemen. And we want off this cleavage detail. Look, I'm gonna run it down for you. The approach must be explicit. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe you should uh, spell it out for us, Captain Wells. Yeah, she's a mother. And I'm not even a married woman yet. Well, the John must be explicit for the team to make the bust. Mm. Could you give us an example? Sure. You stand there looking provocative, you know? That's good, you know, that's very, very good. Then the John comes along and, and he says, uh, are you busy? And you say no, but then you say to him, what do you want? And he said, he says, he, he says, says, he says something explicit. Oh, you will know it when you hear it. I didn't have my hand in this pocket. No way. Come on, let's have it. Look, I ain't got nothing. Hey, this ain't my coat. You can't find anything around here. Man, we've got a couple of welcome new additions to the precinct. This here's Detective Lacey and Cagney. Cagney and Lacey. Samuels. Petrie, Miss Becky, Davis. Which is our desk? Hmm? No, we'll work something out. You'll meet the rest of the guys later. Taylor, Hall, and the rest, okay? Over there would be good. She means the desk. Oh, yeah, the desk. Well, don't worry, you'll get a desk. A phone, the works. We team around here, we work close. Yeah. I want to get something straight here at the onset. We all heard a lot about masculine chauvinists the last couple of years. But we're not going to have any of that. Maybe there's been trouble in the other precincts. But around here, they're going to be treated like equals. Go get them, girls. Seventh and six. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, okay, you sit tight. We'll be right there. Come on, Pete, let's go. No, I can't. We gotta get this. Come on, this is murder. You can say that again.
Are you busy? No. What's the uh, tariff? What do you want? What do I want? Yeah, what do you want? In detail. It's it's my first time. I, I thought you'd know. Never mind. I, I better find somebody more experienced. Thanks anyway. Have a nice day. Well, Gladys, uh, she ain't too thrilled about our having broads in a precinct. Just tell her she ought to be glad it ain't you in them mesh stockings. Yeah. You know the other one? She's married. Yeah? Yeah. Sure, don't look at What do you want? I want you to rub peanut butter all over me. I don't want you to miss a spot. Um, could you, uh, be more explicit? You're putting me on. No! No! I want you <clears throat> to tell me exactly what it is you want me to do for you. Now we'll never know if he wanted chunky or creamy. It may not be ours. Right, ours is in the toilet. Excuse me, the ladies' room. You can't tell me that's an outside job. That joint's built like a fortress. A diamond broker kills another diamond broker. The ice doesn't hit the street. Twice in eight months. Yeah. Well, if they're not fencing this stuff, what are they doing with it? Uh, downstairs, girls. Mm. Detectives, Cagney and Lacey. Oh, sorry, this is my partner, Taylor. I'm Han. Nice meeting you. We can't work out there. Call me Bernie. It's temporary in the hall, over right? Over there will be I just fine. You. Why don't we just no, move wait, everything wait, wait, over wait, there? Wait, 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 please. Look, I'm trying to organize this room, and I've got to go through all this stuff and all that stuff before we move anything. Some of it's been here since before they conned the Indians out of the island. Which of you guys had to wear these frills before we came on? Oh, there wasn't a John detail before we got here, right? Wasn't no one to do it. Yeah, if you want to make a bust, you got to have a... Hey, uh, we kid each other around here a lot, uh, don't we, guys? All right, listen, if you guys get anything, call me. We'll be at home. Was it the same M.O.? Friedlander, the other diamond merchant. You never cracked that case, did you? Same M.O. Hey, your mascara's running. Anyway, why can't we have a crack at it? Samuels is so pig-headed. He even looks like a pig. Give him a chance. I'd like to give him. Aren't you going to change? Oh, no. No, I, th I thought I'd just... <laughs> Stop smiling like that. 
like that. <laughs> and that doesn't turn Harvey on, very <laughs> Maybe I'll just take out an insurance policy first. What are you going to do tonight? Oh, I'm just... Just hanging out. Chris, it's been eight months since that first guy was killed. Samuels doesn't have the brains he was born with. You stay out of it. They'll give us a real case once we've been here a while. Okay, lighten up. Say hi to Harv. I'll give him your best. And mine. Don't forget. Be explicit. Don't you forget. Be cool. in the first place. What I do on my own time is up to me. Yeah, well, I wish you'd go back to your old hobby. You're only getting their backs up. They're not gonna give us a chance to prove we can do the jobs. We're gonna have to show them or we're gonna be stuck on that John detail forever. They're probably just testing us a little. Uh, it's natural. We're the first women detectives in the precinct. Can you imagine what Petrie went through? I guess there are easier ways to get your consciousness raised. It's their case. They're working on it for a year, they don't want to hear about it from you. So I should just keep smiling and taking it. Like you. I bet you smile in your sleep. Not lately. Hey, baby. Black is beautiful. Look, I hope you don't think it has anything to do with that. I mean, because mm -hmm. it doesn't. I mean, it's the legs. Well, not that your legs aren't terrific. You got terrific legs, but maybe next time, okay, sweetheart? I'm gonna call the ACLU. Just tell me what you want, honey. Oh, baby, you don't have to tell me what you want. I know what you Bug want. Bug off. Hey, ladies, ladies, look, I'm on my lunch hour, huh? Oh, baby, I'm gonna have you back to your office in 20 minutes, and you'll be smiling. <laughs> it's the legs. Try to understand. Hey, look. We don't want no independent action around here. On this corner, you work for sugar, or you don't work. So just, just find you another corner. Off. Just you better it. get out of here. You don't belong here. What do we do now? We don't blow our cover. She's a cop. She can handle it. Get just you cool. another? No. Right, honey, just, just say, just, ow. Just cool what down. What are you okay. doing? Just cool down, huh? <laughs> of the game is statistics. You make your bus, you get your promotion. Simple as that. Those streets are full of real crime. I had enough policemen around to solve one tenth of them. Now the commissioner wants those broads off the street. Drugs, prostitution, prostitution, and drugs. Then let us go after the pushers. Look, you're a good cop. You'll get your chance. Good night, Lacey. Cagney. Good night. Sit and shiver. Mr. 
Instead of murder herself, Mrs. Golden is sitting and shiver. Who sits shiver anymore? Nobody up on 135th. <laughs> you know what Shiv is? If he was an Orthodox Jew, it's seven days. Well, she's beating her breast. We're getting a cold trail. Maybe you ought to see a marriage counselor. Or a sexual surrogate, even. I'm going to a meeting. PTA? You wouldn't be interested. Try me. Some of the women are thinking about forming a union. What women? Those women? A union? Yeah. They get pushed from every direction. That's a job description. You know Shanghai, the little one with long dark hair? She wears a kimono? Yeah, yeah, the Chinese. She's Puerto Rican. She got hooked by her old man. He beats her, he beats the kids. Takes almost all the money she earns. So what are you going to do about it? You want to come with me? A lot of these women are too scared even to talk about organizing. Yeah, well, they should be. Those pimps are bad news. Where's the meeting? I got the address. Write it down. I have to do something first. What? Just show something. Just. That's right. Excuse me, could you point out Mrs. Goldman to me? Excuse me. Mrs. Goldman? Yes. It can be done. We've got 14 chapters developing in 10 states. Legalize. It's the only way. Not legalize. Decriminalize. Important point. Look, we don't need more laws. That just gives the cops new ways to hassle us and get their cut. Yeah, right. They're, they're a they're. So what do you say? Do we talk union? How did you know my husband? I didn't know your husband. I'm a policewoman, a detective. It's, this is not the time. I know, I know, I, I appreciate that. I, I understand the pain you're going through, but Mrs. Goldman, we're trying to help. Help? My husband is dead. Let him rest in peace. I'm trying to do my job. We mustn't let a murderer get away. Please, please go away. Have some respect. finds out I so much as come here. He's gonna neutralize my natural. Listen, baby. Sugar's my man. And you know what the government report says. Sugar can kill you. That's all the more reason why we have to organize. Together we have strength. I've been talking like you said, but this ain't much of a chapter. Gotta keep talking. I keep talking. Famali keeps talking. I rub him up, she shoots him down. Sorry, sorry, I had a live one. Uh, Scarsdale. You got a cigarette, babe? Thanks. So, fill me in. What's happened? Yeah. 
Oh, thanks. No, don't move around. Oh. We'd better get some x-rays tomorrow. Oh, it's just bruises, Harv, honest. Did you get the license plate? Didn't have to. He was after Honey. Must have been her pimp, that creep. Enough for tonight, all right? I'm all right. See you in the morning. Oh, no, you won't. Tomorrow you're gonna stay off your feet. I'm gonna find out if anything's broken. Harvey, I'll be all right in the morning, honest. Ow! Mommy. Hey. What are you doing up, huh? Are you all right, Mommy? Yes, my heart, I'm all right. See you Friday, huh? Now you are. It was pretty silly, huh? No. I don't have a statement. Not one you could print. All right. You grab her in the car. Yeah, no, 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 she's okay. It's okay. She, it was just a fluke that he got her. It was sugar. He was after one of his girls. Well, why didn't you the say... The point is they're all in danger. Wells? Who? What? Tell him I'm not... Oh, never mind. I'll take it. Good morning, Arlie. All the usual. Yes, I, I know you are, sir. We are too. We're very concerned. Well... All I can tell you what the moment is of leaving no stone unturned. Gemstones, you know? <laughs> well, it was just a, a little joke. See? No, what we're doing... Sir, y your honor, but I've got my best men on the case. I've been doing a little legwork in my spare time. Mr. Convention, he wants all those broads off the street. He wants everything solved nice and tight. You may not have to worry about those broads. The pimps are going to take them off the streets for... You. Good, good. They're human beings. They need protection. Are you going to be emotional or are you going to be a cop? Take the day off. Take me. I'm Oh, I'm taking it. Uh, you like uh, Polish food? A joke. No joke, I'm a good cook. Your place? Yeah. That's a joke. Hey, Petrie. You wouldn't believe this. The Lindbergh kidnapping. It was just like you said. You got in. How do you know so much about Jewish customs? I read somewhere. I'm cursed with total recall. Did you tell Samuels I was going? I forgot. <laughs> going where? Damn it. Petrie, I'm so sorry. Sticks and stones. He'll cool off. I don't know how you take it. Interesting how it comes in one package. Sexism, racism. And dinosaurs. Fighting extinction. They know they gotta go. It was nice of you to try. It was no favor. Sometimes you get a fresh eye on a case. You've got some fresh eye. Just said it came with the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get anything from Goldman's widow? She was in a camp. I saw the tattoo. He was too. It's not much of a clue in the diamond industry. 90% of them are Jewish. A lot of the older ones went through that. Yeah, the other one too. What's his name? Friedlander. Auschwitz, same as Goldman. Revenge? Don't think so. There were some who dealt with the Nazis, you know. The Kapos, we looked into that. Neither Friedlander nor Goldman collaborated against his people. I'm glad I was wrong on that one. Well, I don't get it. Welcome to the club. Friedlander, he had a wife. You'll have a hell of a lot harder time getting in to see her.
Mrs. Friedlander, please. You have an appointment? Police business about Mr. Friedlander. Mrs. Friedlander, there's a policewoman here to see you. I already told the police everything I know. Would you mind telling me? Why? You'll hear it definitely? Maybe. My, my memory isn't so... Yeah? Oh. But tell him I call him back later. And hold all my calls. Huh? You were in business with your husband? I stepped in. I took over. After there was no one else. My daughter is married. My son is married. She has to live in Phoenix. I guess you learned a lot this year, huh? You wouldn't believe what I learned. I'd believe. I work mostly with men, too. So, what do you want to know? Were there any business enemies? My Joey. He would give you the shirt off his back, monogrammed. Anything that could have been going on of a personal nature? Nothing. Mm -hmm. No personal enemies. Personal? Well, look, he was a Jew. To some crazy Meshuggah strangers, that makes him an enemy. But you see, no stranger could come in here. Hmm? This place is like a, it's like a, a prison. So it must have been a trusted friend. A Jew? It's possible. I saw people break down. People you wouldn't dream. Do terrible things. Terrible. In the camps? Yeah. Under pressure. Ah, but you're young. You wouldn't know. And your husband, he was under pressure? I, I didn't realize how much. He was always so, um, protective, you know. Be beautiful, he would tell me. I, I do the worrying. <laughs> but, uh, just before, for months now, I think I would wake up in the middle of the night and I would see him lying there with his hands behind his head and... I could smell the worry. But I didn't want him to know that I knew, so I... Uh, otherwise, he would worry more, you know. Are you married? And what did you decide he was worried about when you thought about it later? He was a Jew in the diamond business. You know, uh, you can put a million dollars worth of diamonds in your pocket. I think maybe that's why there are so many Jews in the diamond business. A country decides it doesn't like you anymore, you can get on a plane fast, without luggage even. Your people, you can buy gold bars, you don't have to run all the time. My people buy hamburger. So he carried the stones? We all have to sometimes. Was he insured for the stolen diamonds? Stolen? That's what they told you, stolen. So where are they? What do you mean? Well, a thief steals to sell, to make money, to fence. I figure out of the country. No, no, no. Oh. Not, not in Mexico City, not in Antwerp, not in Tel Aviv, not in the Arab countries, not in Buenos Aires, not in the Iron Curtain, no. How can you be so sure they weren't smuggled out of the country? Darling, we can't afford a CIA. We have the Diamond Merchants Association. They know where every single gemstone is. Diamond. Yeah, yeah you, you can go. Talk to them yourself, you see. You can't refuse to talk to a cop. Even if she is a woman. Thank you. Wait, uh... Maybe I'll go with you. I want to see this. Maybe I get some answers. Of my own. Was retired. Get the cataract. He is still the best. His son, with two good eyes. He should be selling shoes. How much? 
For you, nine five. And for my son-in-law, the schlepper, nine five. Huh? It's a bargain. So it's a deal. Mazel and broch. The men's an artist. Many. Yeah, for Thomas Stars. Bien. Manny Silverman, this is Detective Cagney. How do you do? I love detectives. Never mind, just love your wife. A hard woman. No hides. So, you have come to arrest me. Good. First, we have some lunch. I will confess to anything. Mrs. Friedlander tells me that you and her husband spent a great deal of time together. Manny, listen. Whatever it was, I, I, I want to know. No, I didn't, but now I want to know. Jaffa. Jaffa, there is nothing to know. I swear, on my life, on little Yolanda's life, no woman. No, no. Was there anything? A debt? A feud? Any worries? I don't know. Listen. I really want to help. Believe me. Why? It's just another competitor out of the way, no? Business. You don't have to be Jewish to understand business. That man was my brother. I loved him. I would have killed for him. Who would you kill? I don't know. We could check hands on a million dollars in diamonds. But I think there was something. What? He didn't trust me enough to tell me that. I swear, he never told me. All he ever said was, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. That's all. Thank you, Mr. Silverman. A witch's coven. <laughs> what? A coven? The witches? I can see that. What was the other word? Fortune telling without a license. Yeah? When am I going to meet my own true love? Get him out of here. Come on. Don't touch me. Come on. Seven years, bad luck. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey, wait up! We're out of cornflakes. I won't have time. Thought I'd run down to the Union. Right. Hey, Harv. Morning. Oh, your eye looks better. Look, she's got to take it easy. I'll carry her. Oh, babe, um, Mr. Flagg, the Supernaut building? I'm home enough to know. You know he's retiring? So? So nothing. I just thought we'd get everybody kick in, get him with something. It's this time of the month, you know? Some John Skipper without pain? I mean, rape and assault with intention to kill me. Okay, hold on. Name? What's your name? Famali Hudson. Famali? F. Yeah. E. Yeah. M. A. L. E. It's female. They got it off the birth certificate. Ran out of names after nine kids. You know the guy? For cripe's sakes, he almost killed you. What's his name? 
Mr. Pimp. Come on, which one? How do you expect us to help you? First time I saw you. Molly, now they're gonna have to reassign us. Did you see her? They need us out I'm there. I'm gonna go talk to Wells. Don't you dare! What? Please! Please wait, huh? Hey, give me a minute, huh? My path, bitch! It's a job. A living. My husband's out of work. Oh, otherwise, you'd be home baking cookies, right? No. Oh, maybe I would. Maybe I would. It'd be a hell of a lot easier. We can help. If we're there, we can help. We're trained. You got kids? I got two. One. How old? Ten. Going on life. He's the one saved me. With my own bread knife. He slashed that dude. Thelma, I don't give a, a fandango. Because I'm not made out of money, that's why. Thelma, I gotta get back to work. When I'm through. I, I don't know, I'll be through when I'm through, okay? I met a guy who knew Friedlander at the Diamond Merchants Association. I know you questioned him already, but listen to this. Uh, Just look, listen look, to look, this. Look, look. If you don't get your nose right out of my case, I'm gonna see to it that you're transferred. Is that clear? Transparent. And what's that supposed to mean? It means you don't want to be seen through. Not by Petrie or me. I know you've got him on some crap detail just for talking to me. You want to help me? Yes. Good. And get out of my light. Because I got work to do. I need a drink. I know. Just the place. Okay, what are we doing here? You wanted a drink? Please. We're meeting some people. It was a lead. I read through their whole damn case. Samuels didn't have a word to say about it. No kidding. You're not listening either. So, so, tell. Tell me. Friedlander, the first diamond merchant, had an enemy. I'll say. Serious. He was thinking of killing him. Come on. Now, if Goldman had the same enemy... Come on, Chris. Something heavy. Really heavy. Stay out of it. Samuels is a good cop. Right. He's armed and dangerous. You know, you're really getting weird. That stuff makes you weird. I get so damn frustrated. I don't want his medal. Don't you? No, I want my own. That's all I've ever wanted all my life, to be a cop. Ever since that first St. Patrick's Day parade I was in with my father and my brothers, the whole family with all those blue uniforms and brass buttons, that's all I've ever wanted to be, a cop. Too bad it wasn't the Easter parade. You'd make a real cute bunny. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Well, what? We're meeting some people. What? What are we doing here? Well, I figure I'd better tell the women about Famali and us, you know, before she does. So? Honey said she'd talk to them. They're meeting us here. They're going to talk to cops? They're scared. And determined. They want that union. What time? 1, 1 1.15. How sweet on their lunch break. It's after 2. I know. But they're going to come. If they want the union enough. Listen, uh... You won't tell Wells, will you, if they show about, about the cover being blown? The less I have to talk to any of those jokers, the better. I would have another drink. No, we don't want the check. Come on. Come on. How do we know this ain't a setup? Oh, oh yeah, she's right. We've got you all here, and now we're going to sell you Tupperware. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So what's the deal? Protection. For who? Me. You. What do you get out of it? We get to bust the guy who gets one of you. You crazy or something? You're supposed to be there to stop those cruds. We do our best. What can you tell us? What do you want to know? Everything. Who knows about the union? Which pimp threatened who? What? Everything. Drugs. No deal. Okay, okay. You can't blame me for trying. Where did Sugar get you? 
where he always gets me. You keep sugar out your mouth. Sitting up here conversing with cops. For Molly. A whore needs a pimp. And you're a whore, just like me. I'm a working woman. You a piece of meat, baby. Ain't nothing gonna change. Wasting your breath, honey. Wait a minute, she gonna go talk, she gonna, she gonna tell him everything. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What you gonna do about it, just forget it? You think it was ever easy for working people to organize? Okay, Candace Features, you got an idea. Yeah. We go, you and me. And we talk to her until she hears. Somewhere she knows what side she's on. Okay. Yo, darling, she be on Sugar's side. That honcho's got her so tied up, she be taking tricks at home. Moonlighting. surprise myself. Look, I'll be on my way. You're the dude that gave her the cowboy vest, ain't you? You know you all right with me, man. Everything is cool. Stop now. Go on back downstairs. Don't you come in here. Go on down now. Do like I say. Mommy's okay. Do like I say. Go on downstairs.
You have the right to remain silent. Anything Wait a minute. She said she didn't do it. You can call in two minutes, can't you? You have something to say? Nothing. I'd give her a chance. Go. I found him like that. That's all? She couldn't have. She was with us at Betty's. You know how long it took us to get here. We're her alibi? Are you nuts? It's true. A, a definite maybe. She could have gotten up here. That kind of knife job doesn't take long. Oh, call him. I don't give a damn. You weren't hanging on me anyway. She was hanging on me. Who was here? Nobody. Come on, who was here? A uh, trick. Who? Home oh, man. For Molly, what's his name? No name. You don't know anything about him? What I know ain't for no court and don't mean nothing. An old man, a, a Jew, one of those religious kinds. And he came to you? She'd be surprised who comes to us. How do you know he was religious? You see them dudes, long black coat, beard, funny hat. Come on, he didn't do that. No way. For Molly, use your brains. If you didn't do it, then he's it and we gotta find him. He comes every Thursday, like clockwork. Maids stay off, not mine. Today's Friday. Uh, his hat wasn't ready. Uh, I got it clean for him. Did he Some get it? Big holiday. Something. It's a good looking hat. Ain't that a winner? I told him uh, when he gave me this vest. Anytime you get tired of it, baby, I'll take it off your hands. Wouldn't you? Enough? He give you this vest. Yeah. What are you doing? Call a precinct, report this. Where are you going? Put that back in the closet. charge you for something like this. Look at all the studs. That's okay. Just take it. All right, lady. But that's going to cost you a bundle. It's worth it. Tag me. This best stuff later. A uh, clean handkerchief, extra socks, a warm sweater, and if you sleep with a stuffed animal, go go. Now, two Hasidic diamond merchants are knifed by an insider, probably a fellow Jew. The diamonds don't appear on any of the world markets. Now a pimp is knifed, stabbed by a Hasidic Jew, who just happens to have given said pimp's top hooker a vest covered with rhinestones. They couldn't be. Why not? He gave diamonds to, a, to Famali? He gave her a rhinestone vest. Best place to hide anything in plain sight. Sugar comes in, puts two and two together. Oh, wow, it could have been her. Same thing. If we don't find that guy, she's had it. Even the good old liberal public defender won't raise a sweat over a prostitute murdering a pimp. Open and shut. But you got the vest. Mm-hmm. Where is it? Safe. You know, I get the feeling lately you don't even trust me anymore. 
We gotta tell Samuels about that death. I'm not his... telling Samuels anything. You think I want to wind up on some lousy duty like Petrie? Petrie broke the rules. Well, I'm breaking some, too. Listen, I know it's tough, but you're not gonna get anywhere being just as macho as they are. See ya. Where are you going? Oh, I'm gonna have my hair done, and then I'm gonna get a manicure and maybe have one of those sweet little watercress sandwiches over at the ladies' auxiliary. I'm gonna tell Samuels. Go ahead. Or do you have to check with Harvey first? Good cop, bad cop. Your partner would have been more convincing. Well, we all make career choices, you know? I had two hot choices. Clean up other women's houses or mess around with their husbands. Well, you got a choice now. Oh, sure I do. Oh, come on, listen. I can't make you any promises, but I'm a good cop. And right now, I've got some extra juice. And I want to prove it to those pigs who want to keep me in this. Or are on some other lousy detail until I know my place. Oh, yeah, well, you don't look too bad in them threads. Probably could pick up a few bucks moonlighting. Mm -hmm. Come on. Is there anything you remember? Anything at all? Just let your mind go. He didn't talk much. Uh, mostly orders. Orders? Do this, do that, yeah. his way. I don't care. It's his bucks. It, what's he mean? No. It could be. Yes. Cold gray eyes. Did he have an accent? Honey, they all look and sound alike to me. Yeah. From Europe someplace. Yeah? Most of them from Europe someplace. Jews? Those Jews? Diamond merchants. Diamonds? I thought you knew. Uh, this afternoon, when I knew about the vest. Oh, yeah. I was wearing diamonds? How long? When did he give it to you? Oh, I don't believe it. Me and Sugar could have been gone and out. Take my man, my kid, and split. You sure? I think so. I think he killed a man named Friedlander almost a year ago and another diamond merchant about two weeks ago. The kind of, in the papers? Yes. He yes. did that? Oh, we've got to find him to prove it. Um, he said something, uh, uh, a present for me. A skirt? To match the vest. Yeah. I thought, well, you know, they all got this stick, uh, cowgirls. What do I get? Where's my vest? Hey. Let's just worry about your neck first, huh? Did he ever mention anything to you about being in a camp? Camp? Concentration camps during the war. Yeah. Didn't want to talk about it. Okay, now listen to me and try and think. This is very important. His tattoo. Can you remember the numbers? He didn't have no tattoo. He had to have a tattoo. Every Jew in Auschwitz had to have a tattoo. Mm, no tattoo. <laughs> Unless it was under his beard. No, on his arm. He didn't have no tattoo. Who knew better? Okay, you try and get some rest. I'll check in with you tomorrow. Okay, I'm ready. Maybe something will, you know, you'll remember. Something will float up. Ready for what, Blondie? Detective Cagney, 14 Precinct. You want to open up, let me out. I'm sorry, sir. Ma'am. Ma'am, I just came on. Cagney? What? What? Uh, I'll see you later. This is 
real good stew, Hawk. You want the recipe? Do you want something else? I do. If you're finished eating, why don't you take Randy into your room and show him your toys? I'm not finished yet. I hate squishy peas. Then eat around them. All peas are squishy. I like the stew, Dad. I'm just not real hungry. I'm hungry. As a matter of fact, I'm practically starved. Go on, go to your room. You too, honey, go on. They got some real nice toys. Wait for Randy! The big one is Harvey Jr. and the little darling is Michael. I had a real bad day, Harvey. Mm. I guess you had a bad day too, huh? Day like any day that alters and illuminates the life of man. You tell me one, I'll tell you one. One what? Do you always have to talk in code? One terrible thing that happened to you today. I got up. Chris and I had words. No kidding. I thought you two only had deeds, you know, big stuff? She's my best friend. Good. Hope you two will be very happy together. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. You're the code expert. Decode it. Please, it's my night to see my grandson. Just a minute, more. What more can I tell you, eh? I don't want to think about those times anymore. Why would a Jewish person in Auschwitz not have a tattoo? Maybe they were too busy killing at the end. I don't know. Plastic surgery. But why? A religious person, not somebody trying to pass or be something else. What? You're thinking. I can see it. But who else was in the camps? Nazis. Nazis. But you're so young, you don't know. They don't teach you this in school. Also nuns, also priests, also a communist, anybody, anybody who would, who would try to fight those crazy, crazy butchers. They were all there with us. They were all there. Look, it's, please, it's getting late, and soon they put them to bed. Oh, look, wait. If the Nazis were trying to get out, mm. you know, after the Allies came, to escape before the war crime trials, could he pose as a Jew, dress like a Jew, act like a Jew? Yeah, there, there was one. May he rot in hell. He even spoke our language. Spy. He would ask us about our families. And then they would go and get them, find them. We didn't know. Shema. A hundred years later, Shama killed my Yasala. I don't know. I know. Yes, now. I know. I saw it in his writing. Shama. I thought, I thought he was remembering. I thought he wouldn't tell me. But there it was. Shama. Shama. Yasala was writing over and over again. Shama. Shama. How can I find him? Don't. Don't find him. Don't let him find you. You don't know what they are. Maybe nobody is left who would recognize him. Maybe finally it's all over. You know better. No, I'm afraid. How can I find him? He's posing as a Hasid. How do I start? Help me get him. There, 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 there are so many different sects. There's so many different neighborhoods. And each one splits off into another one. You don't know. And, 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 and this one believes this. This one believes that. Shama. The only ones who maybe will even talk to you. 
Maybe we could give you some literature. Detective Cagney, 14th Precinct. We have a permit. Um, no, I'm looking for a man called Shermer. He's a Nazi posing as a Hasidic Jew. Maybe we could talk some other time. He was in Auschwitz, posed as a Jew, got information, passed it along, turned people in. You've never heard the name? Shermer. No. Shermer? You've heard of him? We're the Lubavitcher. We're from Crown Heights. Right, in Brooklyn. Yeah, and, uh, the, and the Bubov is, is in Borough Park. Uh, they're in the middle, uh, politically, you might say. If you tried to talk to them, they wouldn't stone you. Oh. On the other hand, the Satmer. Because I'm a non-Jew? Because you're a woman. They don't talk to women. And on Shabbos yet. God, where do I start? A good person to ask. Do you know anything about him? What did he wear? Like you, from what she said. Exactly like, a little like. His fringe. You know about his fringe? The hat is better. The hat will tell. The hats are different? The hats are I different. saw his hat. No. It's a fur hat. You call that a description? A detective? Dark fur. Uh, not too long, not too short. Not mink. My Aunt Mary has a mink. Dark fur. Not mink. The shape. The hat, like a hat. Round, high, flat, the shade. Yeah. I can draw it for you, I think. So draw? Something like this. Someone. Detective Cagney. You live in the area? Yes, sir. Uh, around the corner, Lee Street. So, uh, what? It's a, it's, a, it's a drug thing? What? Murder. Murder? No, no. <laughs> yeah, that's impossible. Most of the people have lived here a long time, right? Who can afford to move? Hey, the man I'm looking for is relatively new in the neighborhood. Um, a year, maybe a little longer. A big man, gray eyes. He wears the Bubov dress. I don't know. Ask your customers. Tell them I'm here. I'll come back later, and I'll keep coming back until I find him. Well, wait a minute, lady. He, he's the murderer of Bubba. <laughs> I'm sorry, you must be wrong. I, I mean, a religious man. How could he face God? This one won't have the opportunity. What, you mean uh, straight to... Uh... With the rest of the master race. Can I come in? You can pay the rent. I'm 
worried about Chris. It's been tough. They treat us like, um... I don't know. Lady lepers. I'm really not interested, okay? I'm sorry. I care about you and what happens to you. <sighs> she gets me. She's probably driving them all up the wall. In a Sherman tank? I knew it. She's liable to do something crazy. So what else is new? Thanks. Where are you going? I'm going to find Chris. The hell you are. You're not going out of this house tonight. Wait a minute. I don't talk to the kids like that. Yeah, well, maybe they don't need it. Well, maybe I don't either. Maybe I need a little understanding, a little uh, warmth. Oh, I can see it now. Have you hugged your cop today? I was a cop when you met me. If your job is so damn important... And I do pay the rent. And I'm a human being. And I am sick and tired of smiling when I feel like crying and looking into mirrors wondering why I am so unattractive that my husband doesn't want to make love to me. I'm sick of it. Okay, I I'm sorry. Don't, I'm sorry. I'm not sad. I'm mad. And I'm mad because I'm crying when I'm mad. And I don't like to cry when I'm mad. I don't feel like crying when I'm mad. I, I feel like... <laughs> don't touch me. Don't hug me. The only physical contact I will accept right now is foreplay. What? No. Okay. I'm going back to work. Wait, wait, stay and talk. I am going to find my partner. How the hell do you think it makes me feel? I can't even support my own family. You got a problem? Quit hanging around here waiting for a construction job. There haven't been any construction jobs for a year and a half, and there aren't going to be any. What the hell do you want me to do? Go out and get a job washing dishes? Well, you've had enough practice now, haven't you? Harvey? Honey, I know that you feel like a real man when you're up there on those girders with the guys, wearing your hard hat. But you were always a man to me. Even with dishpan hands? You know, Mr. Flagg is moving down to Florida to live with his sister. At least I'd be here when the kids get home from school. How would you feel about being married to a super? Super. Can I touch you now? Same conditions. Enough coffee. It's late. Here's some juice. I don't want any juice. I want to find Shermer. Look, miss. Ruby, my sister's Pearl. Would you believe my father wasn't even in the business? I've got to find this man. He's a murderer. Oh, so tonight, if he's in Borough Park, where would he be? Oh, that's what I want to know. Oh, of course, you're an outsider. I forgot. You ever thought you'd be an outsider? Blonde hair, green eyes. Oh, come on, drink your juice. No, I don't want any juice. No, no, it's good for you. Ruby, listen to me. It's vitamin C. I've got to find this man. Okay, okay. 
Tonight is Hoshana Raba, the eighth day of the holidays. The Torahs are brought to the Bima. The Bima? The reading desk of the synagogue. And everybody goes there? Anita Bryant will probably stay home in Florida. Oh, Ruby, your father was right. You're a jewel. A diamond in the rough. More tea? Tap once for yes, twice for no. I'm in Borough Park. Where? Brooklyn. I'm gonna try to smoke him out, get him to the Ace Cleaning Plant. What? Smoke who out? Where are you? Chris, don't do anything crazy. Tell the guys, Samuels. No, no, never mind. Call Petrie, he's up at 4-9 in the South Bronx. Listen, you wait. Don't do anything. This is the best chance we have. It's a holiday. He's got to be there or he'll blow his cover. Everybody will be there, even a Nazi posing as a Jew. What are you talking about? Take it slow. All operative phrases. You are three minutes are up. Oh, well, then make it collect. Mary Beth, tell her it's okay. You will have to hang up and replace the call. Well, I can't, damn it. Wait a minute. Replace your call. I'll connect you with the operative. You are the op... Damn. Oh, thank you, God. Find out where she is. Hello, Chris. Chris? Wait till it rings. I'm sorry, honey. Hello, Chris, where are you? I'm in Borough Park. I'm going to the synagogue. I'm going to get that bastard. Tell her to bring the troops. I'll drive you. We'll find her. How many synagogues can there be in Borough Park? Who's going to watch the kids? Javi? I'll be okay. You are dealing with a killer. I'll get the guys, I swear. What if they don't listen to you? They'll listen. Promise me that you won't go alone. Hey, I'm Mama. She's Macha. You got monsters in this here apartment. I can't sleep. Be my guest. If something happens to her because you were too pig-headed to listen, on. I'm going to make the biggest noise that will ever uh, happen uh, in this easy precinct. Easy with the noise, huh? Just tell me. I want to know what she's doing out there. That's all. She thinks she found a murderer. The one that you be... Your case, you know? Oh, my case, huh? Look. She could be in terrible trouble while we're standing here talking about it. How many more are you going to have to kill because they recognize you? Huh? Ironic, isn't it? A Nazi killing to retain his identity as a Jew? What'd you do? Get hooked on the chicken soup? If anything happens to her, I'm holding you personally responsible. Detective Lacey here, 14th. Uh, yeah, uh, is is uh, Petrie back yet? Well, where is he? You. You're gonna listen to me. It's Cagney. I got a call from her. She's in trouble. Out in uh, uh, Borough Park. Brooklyn! Okay. Forget it. I'll go by myself. I'll drive out with you. Hey, I got a sweet little redhead in Bensonhurst. I'm going. But I want to know where. I told you. Borough Park, the synagogue someplace. You coming or not? Mm. Tell me again. She said she was going to smoke him out with the vest at the cleaners. At the cleaners. Uh, 
Up in Harlem someplace. Um, oh, it's one of those A's. Acme. Ace. Is it? Ace. Ace. Ace, I'm sure. I'm armed.
Petrie. I knew you'd come. Samuel's that creep. No, oh, Samuel's had me tailing you all this time. What? Some orders you follow, you know. Diamonds. Peter, you all right? No. Did you get hit? Shoulder pipe. What was the gunshot? What was the gunshot? Sure. Chris got him. Are you all right? Compared to what? If you ever. Try that solo crap on me again, I'll mop you up. Lay off me, will you? I mean it. You could have got yourself killed, and I would have had to live with it. Somehow, I would have let you down. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Sorry. Right, She's right. sorry. You heard her, right? Lay on. Good work, Cagney. Hey, sweetheart. Is yours? Ain't that the way they say it goes? Ain't that the way? You gotta make a bet when play is so sure you can't play. Even when you know you're gonna lose, it ain't tax exempt, it ain't even dues. Ain't Show! 
For dinner, Dad. Ham and lima bean casserole. Yuck. Yuck you. I knew what that means. What do you do? I didn't do nothing. Know what he said to me? Yuck you. Dad said that? Our dad said that? Hey, you two. You know what Daddy said? Never mind. <laughs> I gotta go. No breakfast? Now I gotta pick up Chris. Look, why don't you get a babysitter and um, maybe we could take in a show later, huh? You guys, don't you give your daddy any static or I'll come home and arrest you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. Terrific. New York's finest. Hey, maybe couldn't you get the day off? We could um, go to Central Park. I could rent a boat, pack a lunch. Hey, maybe we could drive out to the island. I know a great lobster spot there. Connecticut. That's it. Connecticut. Have you ever been to the Stony Wood Inn? Oh! Oh, sorry. Oh, I... uh, hey, you know what? I never made love with a cop before. Oh. <laughs> I'll see you again, right? I'll call you. Thought you were having dinner with your father. He's in bed by 10. That was a new one. Where'd you find him? Hmm, well, uh, it's a long cab drive back from Brooklyn, you know? That can be dangerous, Chris. I'm a cop. I can take care of myself. So where's it say in the police manual you can't get a social disease? Harvey have another headache? Those are real headaches. They are. A okay, man's out of work okay. for a year and a half, and uh, it begins to prey on his mind. I don't know. It should be getting easier. He used to be the only one on the block. Now three quarters of the country is unemployed. He says he doesn't feel valuable. So I say because you don't feel valuable. I'm beginning to feel not so valuable. Do you remember the reporter we met when we were guarding the mayor? He was dynamite and he really dug you. Knock it off. It would improve your disposition. There's nothing wrong with my disposition. And stop smiling like that. Who's smiling? Who? Oh. 
maybe I'll give him a koala. <laughs> Break. Okay, come on, you. Chris, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Just help me out of feet. Put him over here. What? I think they're cutting heroin over there. You're kidding. Looks just like the narcs tell you. Where? Show me. Right there. Four guys with guns. Do you want to make detective? You know a cop that doesn't? Chris, even if we make the bust, how are we going to get him back to the station? We'll take a cab. Get their guns. Next week, plain clothes. You call this plain clothes? Well, to John, detail is a very important assignment. With all the crime going down, we gotta trap some horny bastards. She means it's a victimless crime. Uh, look, we're good cops. Why do you think you got promoted? Hey, look, that was a terrific color you kids made, like real policemen. We are real policemen. And we want off this cleavage detail. Look, I'm gonna run it down for you. The approach must be explicit. You know what I mean? 
Maybe, maybe you should uh, spell it out for us, Captain Wells. Yeah, she's a mother, and I'm not even a married woman yet. Well, the John must be explicit for the team to make the bust. Mm. Could you give us an example? Sure. You stand there looking provocative, you know? That's good, you know, that's very, very good. Then the John comes along and, and he says, uh, are you busy? And you say no, but then you say to him, what do you want? And he said, he says, he, he says? says, he says something explicit. Oh, you will know it when you hear it. I didn't have my hand on this part. No way. Come on, let's have it. Look, I ain't got nothing. Hey, this ain't my coat. You can't find anything around here. Men, we've got a couple of welcome new additions to the precinct. This here's Detective Lacey and Cagney. Cagney and Lacey. Samuels, Petrie, Miss Becky, Davis. Which is our desk? Hmm? No, we'll work something out. You'll meet the rest of the guys later, Taylor, Hall, and the rest, okay? Over there would be good. She means the desk. Oh, yeah, the desk. Well, don't worry, you'll get a desk. A phone, the works. We team around here, we work close. Yeah. I want to get something straight here at the onset. We all heard a lot about masculine chauvinists the last couple of years. But oh, we're not going to have any of that. Maybe there's been trouble in the other precincts. But around here, they're going to be treated like equals. Go get them, girls. Seventh and six. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, okay, you sit tight. We'll be right there. Come on, Chief, let's go. No, I can't. We gotta get this. Come on, this is murder. You can say that again. Anyway, uh, have a nice day. Well, Gladys, uh, she ain't too thrilled about our having buds in a precinct. Just tell her she ought to be glad it ain't you and them mesh stockings. Yeah. You know the other one? She's married. Yeah? Yeah. Well, she 
sure don't look it. What do you want? I want you to rub peanut butter all over me. I don't want you to miss a spot. Um, could you, uh, be more explicit? You putting me on? No! No! I want you <clears throat> to tell me exactly what it is you want me to do for you. John Cole. Yeah, now we'll never know if he wanted chunky or creamy. Excuse me, the ladies' room. You can't tell me that's an outside job. That joint's built like a fortress. A diamond broker kills another diamond broker. The ice doesn't hit the street. Twice in eight months. Yeah. Well, if they're not fencing this stuff, what are they doing with it? Uh, downstairs, girls. Mm. Detectives. Cagney and Lacey. Oh, sorry, this is my partner, Taylor. I'm Han. Nice meeting you. We can't work out there. Call me Bernie. It's temporary in the hall, over right? Over there will be I just you... fine. Why don't we just no, move wait, everything wait, wait, over please. there? Wait, 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 please. I'm trying to organize this room, and I've got to go through all this stuff and all that stuff before we move anything. Some of it's been here since before they conned the Indians out of the island. Which of you guys had to wear these frills before we came on? Oh, there wasn't a John detail before we got here, right? Wasn't no one to do it. Yeah, if you want to make a bust, you got to have a... Hey, uh, we kid each other around here a lot, uh, don't we, guys? All right, listen, if you guys get anything, call me. We'll be at home. Was it the same M.O.? Friedlander, the other diamond merchant. You never cracked that case, did you? Same M.O. Hey, your mascara's running. Anyway, why can't we have a crack at it? Samuels is so pig-headed. He even looks like a pig. Give him a chance. I'd like to give him. Aren't you going to change? Oh, no. No, I, th I thought I'd just... <laughs> Stop smiling like that. And that doesn't turn Harvey on for you. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take out an insurance policy first. What are you going to do tonight? Oh, I'm just... Just hanging out. Chris, it's been eight months since that first guy was killed. Samuels doesn't have the brains he was born with. You stay out of it. They'll give us a real case once we've been here a while. Okay, lighten up. Say hi to Harv. I'll give him your best. And mine. Don't forget. Be explicit. Don't you forget. 
be cool. Try to make you crawl when you know you can fly Just keep smiling when you want to cry Now that's the way You had no business there in the first place What I do on my own time is up to me Yeah, well I wish you'd go back to your old hobby You're only getting their backs up. They're not going to give us a chance to prove we can do the jobs. We're going to have to show them or we're going to be stuck on that John detail forever. They're probably just testing us a little. Uh, it's natural. We're the first women detectives in the precinct. Can you imagine what Petrie went through? I guess there are easier ways to get your consciousness raised. It's their case. For a year, they don't want to hear about it from you. So I should just keep smiling and taking it. Like you. I bet you smile in your sleep. Not lately. Look, I hope you don't think it has anything to do with that. I mean, because mm -hmm. it doesn't. I mean, it's the legs. Well, not that your legs aren't terrific. You got terrific legs, but maybe next time, okay, sweetheart? I'm gonna call the ACLU. Just tell me what you want, honey. Oh, baby, you don't have to tell me what you want. I know what you Bug want. Fuck off. Hey, ladies, ladies, look, I'm on my lunch hour, huh? Oh, baby, I'm gonna have you back to your office in 20 minutes, and you'll be smiling. <laughs> it's the legs. Try to understand. Hey, look. We don't want no independent action around here. On this corner, you work for sugar, or you don't work. So just, just find you another corner. Off. Just you better it. get out of here. You don't belong here. What do we do now? We don't blow our cover. She's a cop. She can handle it. Get just, you another. No. Right, honey, this just, is just, ow. Just cool what down. What are you okay. doing? Just cool down, huh? Mm. of the game is statistics. You make your bust, you get your promotion. Simple as that. Those streets are full of real crime. I had enough policemen around to solve one tenth of them. Now, the commissioner wants those broads off the street. Drugs, prostitution, prostitution, and drugs. Then let us go after the pushers. Look, you're a good cop. You'll get your chance. Good night, Lacey. Tag me. Good night. Sit and shiver. You've got a murder to solve, Mrs. Golden. Is sit and shiver. You sit and shiver anymore. Nobody up on 135th. <laughs> You know what Shiv is? If he was an Orthodox Jew, it's seven days. Well, she's beating her breast. We're getting a cold trail. Maybe you ought to see a marriage counselor. Or a sexual surrogate, even. And go into a meeting. PTA? You wouldn't be interested. Try me. 
Some of the women are thinking about forming a union. What women? Those women? A union? Yeah. They get pushed from every direction. That's a job description. You know Shanghai, the little one with long dark hair? She wears a kimono? Yeah, yeah, the Chinese. She's Puerto Rican. She got hooked by her old man. He beats her, he beats the kids. Takes almost all the money she earns. So what are you going to do about it? You want to come with me? A lot of these women are too scared even to talk about organizing. Yeah, well, they should be. Those pimps are bad news. Where's the meeting? I got the address. Just write it down. I have to do something first. What? Just show something. Just... That's right. Bill. Excuse me, could you point out Mrs. Goldman to me? Excuse me. Mrs. Goldman? Yes. It can be done. We've got 14 chapters developing in 10 states. Legalize. It's the only way. Not legalize. Decriminalize. Important point. Look, we don't need more laws. That just gives the cops new ways to hassle us and get their cut. Yeah, right. There, there are many... There... So what do you say? Do we talk union? How did you know my husband? I didn't know your husband. I'm a policewoman, a detective. It's, this is not the time. I know, I know. I, I appreciate that. I, I understand the pain you're going through. But Mrs. Gold.